Welcome to another episode of WTF Cinema. This is a continuation of WTF Cinema's review of Repo, the genetic opera. So if you missed the previous part, go watch it now. So some more stuff happens. Largo wants to use Shiloh to get back at Nathan because of this thing with Marnie and Mag's rolled up into it for some reason. And Mag finds out about Shiloh, goes to Shiloh's house. Shiloh is not supposed to have visitors. Nathan comes home. It gets complicated. Your resemblance is striking. You have your mother's eyes, her hair. I was told you died with her. All these years have come and gone. How do I put this? I'm your, I'm your godmom. We also see that Mag can sing with two voices at the same time. I guess that's what you get with opera training. Yes, not only does Mag have artificial eyes, they have holographic projectors built into them. It died, a repo man will come and take Mag's eyes! There are things in life that we do best to leave alone. She'll die, you must help her die, she'll die. If you're going to have an emotional argument in song, please pick one song to have that argument in, because going back and forth between two different songs makes me want to kill you both. Drama's got to go die 70 Nothing's gonna bring her back 70 Experiment with something living 70 Cause I'm sweeter than 60 And in the middle of a gothic rock opera we have a punk song. Why? No idea. Why does Shiloh's room suddenly transform into a stage with people trying to get past the doorman to get in to watch her sing? Because it can. Tonight we are betrayed. Keep Shiloh safe. Make Roddy pay. Own money's grave at the opera. Tonight. Now starring in Repo the Genetic Opera, Gollum, played by Mr. Head. So Roddy Largo hates Nathan, Nathan hates Roddy, Shiloh's trapped in the middle, Mag is part of it, Roddy's going to kill Mag, blah 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 blah, plot exposition, plot exposition, in cartoon format, but everything's going to get wrapped up at the opera tonight. <laughs> Amber Sweet comes out on stage having her little song. Blame not my cheeks, the play with love they be. And then her face falls off. Yeah. Yeah, that's about as weird as it sounds. Her face falls off. I was going to try to nitpick some of the things that happen at the opera tonight, but really it just gets rolled up under the heading, Everybody Dies. Well, not everybody. But everybody that was an interesting character in this movie dies. We will always have each other in our time of need. Daddy, you're the world to me. Nobody inherits Jinko. Shiloh just walks out. Apparently the world is going to go to hell. And we're left with Mr. Exposition, Grave Robber, telling us what just happened. Epilogue. But the little girl fled, and the king is dead, and the castle is left for the taking. But Jinko may survive if it undergoes surgery. 
Surgery. Surgery. When I got done with this movie, I was trying to compare it to my memories of being horrified with it the first time. And really, it's not as bad as I remembered it. It's bad, but it's not that bad as long as you approach the movie on its own terms. And to be clear, those are some pretty what the f terms. So, thanks for tuning in. Join us next time as Jeff returns to take a look at the happiness of the categories. Thank you for watching WTF Cinema. Until next time, what the f man?